Hi, it's Chester at Blue PK and Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at a problem you sometimes get with CSV files. You're importing them or opening them in Excel where you have fields that have leading zeros, like our transaction ID here or our telephone number. What it does is it knocks out the zeros. If I just open that file directly within Excel, you can see I lose the zeros on the transaction ID field and the telephone number field. Let's try this again in a new file. I'm gonna do this first of all in Excel 365. This method will also work for Excel 2016. I'll also show you a method for older versions of Excel that'll come next. In this version of Excel, we're gonna use Power Query. We go to Data, in Get and Transform Data, we go to From Text CSV. I select my file import this just gives you a preview of the data you can leave that all as it is but what we need to do is transform the data so we retain the zeros that are currently not showing in the preview your button may say edit but it'll do the same thing now what i need to do is change the data type for both of these columns from number which is currently set at you can see a little one two three icon there and there we need to change that to text what I do is I click where it says one, two, three there. I select text as my data type. And I found you always got to use replace current, not add new step. There we are. I've got my zeros back. Same here, which is text. Replace current, got my zeros back. And then to get this into Excel, go up to the top left here, click on that button and it brings it into Excel. Okay, so that works for the most current versions of Excel. What about if we had an older version of Excel? This is Excel 2010, and this method I think will work for 2013 as well. I go to the data tab again, same as Excel 365, and I go to from text, select my CSV file, import, this time I get this old text import wizard, but it works just as well. I've got delimited text, delimited by a comma. So next, my delimiter is a comma, because so I've got a CSV file. There we are, you can see the columns. Next. But the trick here is to tell Excel that these are not numeric fields, but they're text fields. So general is to be text. The telephone number is currently general, and that needs to be text as well. Click on finish, find to put the data in A1, click on OK, and there we are. It's imported the data into my worksheet. OK, two ways of doing it, depending on your version of Excel. Hopefully you found that useful. Please subscribe if you have, and I'll see you next video.